Hello guys, I am Arun S.P. Welcome to our channel. Uh, today we are going to see some exciting stuff. Uh, how to make a 3D logo in Element 3D inside After Effects. Well, take a look. This is uh, logo animation placed uh, in Envato. This is a videohive.net uh, project. Okay, now we okay. This is uh, my try first try. Okay, now new com um, of HD select of HD TV. Okay. logo 3d okay then mm, import the design i import the design sorry that is similar to the Okay, now I found it. Uh, pull head tattoos. Okay, now uh, it is it is going to cut the dark portion that is uh, uh, needed for uh, logo design. Uh, masking is a tedious process, so another trick is add luma key to the, the then. Increase the threshold until the white spot disappears. No disappearing. Bright. Add to our Okay. Now. layer select the layer then layer auto trace auto trace uh, there is the alpha channel behind it uh, so this alpha if uh, we have uh, behind white plate uh, uh, we choose luminance okay now alpha is okay uh, layer one pixel that is enough uh, uh, press ok now all the masks are uh, seeing like this okay now neglect the this part this is not needed for the 3d logo okay now going to mac element 3d okay new solid e3d then the effect video copyright element needs a graphics card I, I won't have uh, AT Radeon um, 5000 4500 series uh, okay now test now uh, when we select the path layer to the bullhead tattoos uh, this layer um, element 3d takes the mask path uh, to extrude okay now element 3d scene setup um, click extrude this extrude extrude the mask uh, ta tattoo layer okay now um, move on to tessellation and uh, change it to ultra if ultra there is a uh, uh, many polygons uh, if uh, we take it as low we have some sizzled edges uh, 
to ultra somewhat uh, high resolution okay now if you add uh, some layers uh, it will these are pro shaders uh, coming in video co credit okay now control z no first of all uh, we have to create a multiple layers uh, as like uh, in this uh, logo okay now we are going to make other copy of the extruder layer okay click extrusion model uh, then bevel copies to 2 now temporarily it's 2 okay now the bevel to go to bevel 2 and uh, some extrude extrude is uh, 1 okay uh, expand it just just play with the settings extrude and bevel size okay mm, click the now select the bevel 2 then extrude to point two okay then um, depth size bevel size to one now we can get the beveled edge like this then okay now move on this layer copy this layer to this segment okay now click the extrusion model then add another copy 3 bevel 3 now uh, select bevel 2 copy and bevel 3 paste okay now adjust the z offset to like this now it's okay then um, add other copy for then right click bevel 4 um, bevel 3 right click uh, copy bevel 4 paste the same depth is taken to 74 bevel 4 now move on the z offset to somewhat like this Two. now change the bevel size to 0.4 okay 0.4 now the bevel edges uh, decrease then is it offset to 1.2 now it's going to be okay now it's going to be okay now um, increase the extrude level to some extent uh, like uh, one make some extrusion oh no um, double size to 0.3 
I have the low graphics card, so update is uh, slow. Now, extrusion to 0.5. Um, 0.4 is enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, copy another uh, bevel to 5. Now copy the four fourth bevel to cop five paste it. Now it has the two copies, the two copies are same. Then um, edit the bevel size and the extrusion is point two then bevel size is uh, point five. Now it has another copy. Now extrusion amount to point one. It's okay. Then move the Z offset to point three three point six. I think it's. One point six is not okay. One point five. One point five. Then in this layer, uh, enable the bevel backside that gives a smooth. Uh, it just on the back side of the bevel. Now, um, now I think uh, it's going to be okay. Now we going to, see, but uh, five uh, move to some top. Okay, Z offset to one point two. One point three five. Oh, now okay. This is like this. Uh, uh, we are going to add a texture. Now we are going to add the texture to the logo. So import the texture that is downloaded from Google.com. It is uh, used only for uh, educational purpose, uh, so it's okay. Now, uh, add it to the edit texture layer in the E3D. Text, uh, custom texture maps, uh, none to logo download, okay. Then, move on to scene setup. Uh, it takes some time, so I because I have low graphics card of 1 GB. Now, it's okay. Model. Now, wh which is the front layer? Find. So, that is the bevel one is the front layer. So, now, add texture to the bevel one. First, add material gold i add in gold material from the pro shader from video copilot.net uh, now mm, we going to add some uh, bump texture to it uh, so click uh, gold basic material then move on to the normal bump then to custom layer wait for some time play with the settings like this mm. 
like this okay now offset it just offset it i think it's going to be okay now it's okay I think it's a uh, really cool. Then click OK. Now it has a nice texture. Then add this. Mm. This is the over the overlapping to the bubble one. So. Um, decrease the extrude amount to somewhat 0.8 then 0.8 then uh, Z offset to 0.2 now it's going to be okay it is uh, so colorful so mix texture now adjust the normal bump value to 100 to 20 so uh, gets mild okay now next Now uh, we are going to make uh, another texture, um, import this, zoom to complete, uh, it's ok, add to the E3D, E3D layer, go on to layer 2, it's ok, now move on to the scene setup select double to add the basic gold it's ok gold material now move on to normal bump then add the texture to uh, then you will repeat to 10 so this is also 10 now we get a nice look and inverse depth so now we get a good look uh, in the same way, we going for this texture, um, UV repeat to 10, so 10, uh, 
it is not uh, to mark okay now we are going to add uh, different materials to bevel 3 bevel 4 bevel 5 uh, i choose uh, my material as uh, chrome to bevel 3 this is uh, then 4 bevel bevel 4 also chrome then uh, in between uh, layer uh, bevel 5 i am going to um, make a shiny light material okay now it is my material now offset the third material i going to offset z going to z offset that is z offset then to 0 0.6 0 0.6 is uh, enough yeah. 0 0.5 now it's okay then offset the layer uh, z offset to point uh, 5 uh, it demolish okay point 5 now play on the extrusion to 1 then z offset it to 0.4 to 0.3 or Point three or point, I think uh, point two is the uh, correct uh, point two. Mm. Now it's okay. I think uh, it's going to be okay with the uh, multiple layers, but in this uh, video we seeing some uh, extrusion like this okay now now we going to max some um, reflection bevel on top um top like this okay now move on to this layer this is the bull layer okay um, duplicate the layer, edit, uh, duplicate it, then uh, layer pre-compose, move all attributes, okay. Now, move on to the comb, now go on to the mask, copy all the masks and uh, click add, then edit copy and uh, edit paste after duplicate the masks then um, add to subtract and uh, mask expansion to minus 8 pixels okay we see the outline now move on to the low layer now add this outline layer to the e3d layer uh, layer 
auto trace alpha okay now go to e3d layer and uh, test and mask uh, to uh, this is the uh, full com to okay this level now go to scene setup this will take set <laughs> Now, another extrude model. Now, custom path to that is uh, second path. Okay. Now it is the outline layer. We got it. So I think it's okay. Now. Now add this to extrusion model to second slot. Now we can see the both uh, in this viewport. Add a camera custom to twenty eight frame. 28 millimeter resolution to quarter so it renders quickly now move the second group to the top second group uh, to zero very top this is hundred fifty twenty I think uh, that's okay now move on to the scene setup and uh, add the layer to gold base now uh, go to environment and uh, max um, non blurred image uv report repeat to 3 this will uh, give some nice reflection and uh, draw and a gamma to two bright surface okay now we have the nice reflection press okay now full we get the result now we get a clear clear look uh, we have to adjust the environment okay environment settings then add to i think warehouse is the best then you will repeat to 3 then uh, 3 to find nice reflection around the title then gamma to decrease the gamma to get uh, brightness so i think 1.5 is the best okay then okay now we get the nice reflection uh, this then press okay now we got uh, perfect uh, model this look uh, this is uh, my final look of the 3d model it shows shiny now um, we can uh, 
zoom it up we get a nice texture appearance uh, and uh, remove the camera then uh, then we make uh, uh, some uh, camera adjustments uh, to make some video like whatever you do now uh, 3d logo is uh, setting up this is our logo that's it uh, thank you for uh, watching our tutorial uh, feel free to comment uh, i am arun sv um, keep supporting uh, uh, thank you